Hello family and welcome to another powerful video. Dr. Delbert Blair, a visionary in metaphysical thought, invites us to look deeper into the mechanics of our mind and the subtle ways it is influenced by the environments we find ourselves in. He introduces the concept of how our brain, divided into the logical left side and the creative right side, can be strategically manipulated in places such as concert venues, theaters, and even modern multiplexes. These spaces are designed not only for entertainment, but also to occupy the logical mind while leaving the more susceptible right brain wide open for influence. Dr. Blair explains that the right brain, which is irrational and expansive, can easily be accessed once the left brain is distracted with logic. The right brain believes anything it hears, except in vibrations and frequencies that bypass conscious reasoning. Whether through spoken words, sound frequencies, or the hypnotic power of voice, these influences tap into the very core of our subconscious, often without our awareness. In his wisdom, Dr. Blair reminds us that within us all lies a dormant force, a genie waiting to be freed, a spiritual energy that, once controlled, can transform our lives. The key, he emphasizes, is not allowing others to manipulate this power, but to master it ourselves and tap into our true potential. Anytime you're in any place where you have a speaker, a singer, a performer, a movie, that's why they have these cineplexes going on now, not only to save money, but to get you corralled under one dome. And once you do that, you have a brain that has two lobes, five divisions. You have your left brain and your right brain. One is called logical, the other is called rational. Actually irrational because the right brain is like a five-story building, a block square, and the left brain's like a Quonset hut. You've got the left brain controlling a five-story building with everything you can think of in it, and this is where we give most of our attention to the so-called logical brain. So once the logical brain, which supposedly differentiates and teaches you right from wrong, makes you use logic and governorship by logic, once the left brain is occupied, logically looking at singing, dancing, whatever it is, and getting your attention, the right brain can be easily accessed. When the right brain can be easily accessed, interesting things happen. The right brain believes anything that it hears in your tenor of voice, your modulation of voice, your volume of voice, everything about your vibration, anytime it hears it, it believes it. Under hypnosis, you deaden the left brain, the logical reasoning conspiracy brain, and you open up the right brain. Drugs can do it, but a simple thing like using the spoken word can now do it too. Because in many of these places, they are wired for sound that you do not hear. They're wired to work on a frequency that the left brain doesn't pick up, but the right brain does. I have a workshop that's the way I got through school so fast, people couldn't understand. In fact, they accused me of cheating. I didn't have to cheat because the creator had already cheated for me. I found out an easy way to access the right brain, which forgets nothing, and how to tag it, call it up when I need it. It's still doing it, but now it's doing it without your control. The key is to be able to control the genie, the djinn, the wonderful spiritual inside you that begs for freedom and gets locked up. Dr. Delbert Blair expands on the power of the right brain, emphasizing its profound connection to spirit, mind, and soul. He highlights the pivotal role of the pineal gland, often referred to as the third eye, in linking us to higher consciousness. Much like the king's and queen's chambers of ancient pyramids, which symbolize the alignment of our spiritual and physical being, the right brain, according to Blair, is the key to unlocking that spiritual potential, distinguishing us from lower instinctual existence. Once the logical left brain is preoccupied, however, it leaves the right brain vulnerable to external influences. High frequency signals can be sent directly to the right brain without our conscious awareness, 
subtly implanting thoughts and actions that we may unknowingly carry out. As Blair explains, the right brain is only activated when operating on a high vibration, when we're tuned into a faster, more spiritual frequency. Otherwise, it lies dormant, waiting for the moment we become ready to operate on a level of heightened awareness. This exploration delves deeper into the manipulation of human consciousness and the vital importance of reclaiming control over our own minds, freeing the right brain from the distraction of the mundane and awakening to our true spiritual potential. Your right brain can do just about anything you imagine because it is your key to spirit, mind, and soul. Through the pineal gland and the king's chamber and the lower queen's chamber, which is nothing but the hypothalamus of the two biggest organs and glands in your body that separates you from the beast and everything else and they deaden it. So once you're occupied with the left brain, they can now send down a high frequency signal to your right brain. You won't even do it's been implanted and you'll carry out every instruction that it gives you because your governor is off. Your modulator is gone. And then they tell you to forget that it was gone if you remember to forget. Huh? I love playing with you. Because they already are. I do it with love. They do it with malice, aforethought, and hate. And envy. Worse than that, they envy you. You don't even know why you're envying. But you are. Anything that speeds up six times over and becomes a blur is what your right brain hears. Anything below that is what your left brain, logical brain hears, and your right brain just goes to sleep and says, well, it's another foolish day. Another day I can sleep because the people ain't ready. They're not operating on a vibration fast enough. Well, in spite and despite of you, the planet is now going to operate on a frequency that's fast enough. And if you don't catch up, you're going to die. You're going to die anyway. But you'll die faster if you can't keep in synchronous, in harmony, in vibrational, rational with the planet. Your planet is speeding up its vibrational rate. It's creating a magnetic field. Magnetism is for the spiritual people. It's for people with souls. And as you try to awaken, they put more stress on you. Reverse mortgages. Subprime loans. Bills sitting twice a month to you. Taxes overtaxing. Depleted uranium. Shots. Here comes the next flu. Here comes the next epidemic. Here's something going to fall on your head from space. Anything to keep you so stressed out that you cannot take time to meditate and to think. Anything to make you think that material things are the only thing you have in life when you were born here to learn that the spiritual value is what you really must come back to. In this powerful message, Dr. Delbert Blair sheds light on the hidden potential of the right brain, revealing how it connects us to our spiritual essence and higher consciousness. He reminds us that while society often distracts and engages our logical left brain with external stimuli, it is the right brain, the gateway to the spirit, that holds the true power of creation, memory, and perception. When we leave our right brain untapped or allow it to be manipulated by frequencies we cannot consciously detect, we lose touch with our deeper purpose and potential. The key, as Dr. Blair emphasizes, is regaining control over this powerful aspect of our being, freeing the genie within to awaken our full spiritual capacity. As we raise our vibration and move beyond the limitations of the logical mind, we unlock the ability to truly operate on a higher level of existence, where creation, intuition, and spiritual knowledge flow freely. The journey is not just about learning, but about remembering and reclaiming the innate abilities that lie within each of us, waiting to be accessed and activated. The challenge is ours to accept, to take back control of our minds, to rise above the distractions, and to step into our true divine potential.